You are in charge of propaganda and cultural affairs at the Central Committee. That must be a difficult task in a country which is overwhelmingly Catholic. Uh, we should to have the knowledge that Poland has always pluralistic society as considered ideological problems. And if somebody is not respecting it, he's making two errors. We, after the 81, we are building the concept of our information, our propaganda, based on the knowledge about the pluralistic society. Of course, there is not, of course, there is, a, you mentioned the church influence, but not only church. We have the influence of the full information going on from abroad. We have the pluralistic press. It seems to me that the pluralistic press in Poland is much more different as considered pluralistic way than in the West. If we take under consideration the communist press and the Catholic press, if you will take under consideration differences, what there is, there are even much broader. So the spectrum is broader here. Is much than broader. Is much broader than in West, some Western countries. So, what is the issue of it? First, to give full information, whatever is possible to give to the people, especially the information showing the different aspect on the on the problem. So, for example, you could notice that our TV, our radio, is giving a lot of information that a lot of people are not agreed with it. Is, is, is complaining, is discussing, and so on. Second problem, what is the most important? That we are coming to the conclusion, we know about it, the form of information is a very important aspect of the uh, satisfying of the people by this information. If you're just sitting in the TV and saying to somebody, it is the form that some people are not respecting it, they are not, they are not approving. Some people, they want to have not only different view, but also in form much more admissible to the, to the, to, to the, to the conscience of the people. So, for example, young generation, they want to have very quick information. Information that is going just immediately after the events. So I would like to tell you that that's the policy of our, of our department in Central Committee. So it means to give to the people as much as possible variety of information. It means full information. Second, to pay attention to the form of information. And the third, to pay attention to the speed of information. Who is giving the first information is right, I would like to tell you. There is the, the rule that, that, that is, there is in the West uh, as a principle uh, respected. Also the same we want to uh, obtain. But who decides country. what kind of information can be published or not? Chief of redactor or journalist or these people who are, who are owner of this press, because we have not private owners, but the press belong to different organizations. So I would like to tell you that it is not true that the decision about who is giving some information is centralized, and especially the Central Committee. It is not true. What Central Committee is doing, he is giving some guidelines as concern the concept of the commenting, informations, uh, I would like to tell you, focusing on some problems. And I would like to tell you that I notice in the West you have the same, even better uh, uh, stimulation or, or direction of the press that we have. But it is not true that in our country or in any now socialist country there is the stiff decision what could be published or what could be not published. I would like to do very small problems is, uh, is uh, considered by the uh, censorship. Very small amount. I would like to tell you that uh, uh, it, uh, even it is not possible to say what is the percentage between the promille, not, not the percentage, when the censorship is, uh, is intervening. What is the main problem of um, uh, censorship? There is not the internal problem, I would like to tell you. There is mainly the problem of our alliances, 
there is the problem of our foreign policy and there is the problem of moral aspect, no more. There seems to be a retreat, therefore, of the party from ideological control the way it functioned before. There seems also to be a certain retreat of the party from the economic sphere. How does one square that with the idea of the leading role of the party, that the party should guide the society? It seems to me that is completely untrue what you said, that party is retreating from the, uh, from the sphere of influence on the, on, on the uh, ideology, on the spheres, especially on economy. But problem is there is a quite different means of influencing on, of, of it. Party don't want to interfere in detail aspects. Party has lines of political and ideological uh, activity. And this line is, is followed by the people who are responsible for different, for different areas, for different sphere of activity, ideological or economical. And I would like to tell you that problem not belong if some uh, uh, gentleman belong to party or not. If he is able to lead the groups that he is leading, if he is able to manage of the of the industry or or or, or um, other uh, organization of uh, economy that the problem of the policy party so it means not direct influence not direct how to say maneuvering by hands but to lead by the people able people they are they have the possibility to fulfill the policy the guidelines of the party in their concrete activity so they, their role is to implement the policy. The party exactly. gives the policy. Exactly. Their role is to... Exactly. The political participation is in the implementation exactly. of the party You're right. policy. You're right. Now, you've just returned from the Soviet Union. Yes. What is your impression about uh, the reforms there? And what is, of course, their relevance uh, to what is going on here? Uh, if you allow me first, I will start from differences. It seems to me that what's going on in Soviet Union, there is the effect of very deep analyze that the leadership of Soviet Union made in the last few years. You could feel when you are in Soviet Union and you are talking with different people, how deep analyze they made of all sphere of political, economical, social life in Soviet Union. I would like to tell you that they are very critical, but I must tell you that always they are constructive also to the past. So it means nobody in the Soviet Union is saying what it was before, everything was wrong. And what it is now and will be in the future, that will be the bright uh, resolvement. They have this, how to say, very logical approach to the processes. But is there that processes relevant? has the beginning, they have not beginning and they have not end. They are cooling like the river. It seems to me that there is the effect of the intellectual uh, work, intellectual activity that in Soviet Union long time ago they started. So it's an in inspiration Poland. for you. Exactly. As concerns the situation in Poland, our changes, our reforms were arranged in very difficult situation. In very difficult situation, not due to the economical situation or uh, difficulties and so on, but also some internal pressure that was from different, uh, different forces. We were in this time, for example, when we started the economical reforms in a very difficult situation. We were not dysregulate economy. We had not stabilized situation in uh, a political situation in our country. We have immobilized, immobilized a gr big group of society. So I must say that our reforms they have some stigma of difficulties that, that we had till now. Problem. Your reforms come from below, whereas exactly. Gorbachev's reform comes from above. Exactly. So that's the reason that if you're now saying that we 
are on the same wave of changes, now we are closing to each other. Due to the policy of party in Poland, we are leading of intellectual process what to do in the future. So it means to lead the changes in, the in, in, in our country in the future. So I would like to say you that my impression now, that now we are in the situation when we are closer each other as concerns the future resolvement of the problems in the sphere of economy, in the sphere of rebuilding the party, of reconstructing the party, of the changes in the sphere of ideology, and so and so and so. How do you assess how do you assess the strengths of the opposition in Poland? And uh, is it a serious challenge uh, for the party today? Uh, first, your question, it seems to me, is, uh, is uh, not correct. You use the word strength. I wouldn't like to say nothing uh, offensive to, the, to these people. That's my, how to say, approach. But when I'm looking on their, on their activity, it seems to me that all what they are doing, their behavior, their behavior they, like the generals, they have the uh, uh, concerns that they have no army. That's the problem of the situation in Poland. They could give the orders, you know, they could uh, write uh, the, 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 the appeal and so on. These people have no soldiers to be successive and that's the situation in our country they lost the workers now in poland there is the reverse what said gramsci workers start to believe what party is doing i would like to give you some uh, some my experience uh, workers on the meeting of the parties are very critical they are uh, very, uh, how to say, um, sometimes even aggressive what, uh, to activity of the party. And I would like to tell you, a few weeks ago I had such a meeting with the workers of the Silesia, and they were very critical about uh, different things in Poland, especially in the sphere of economy and so on. And I would like to tell you, they were so critical, that in some moment of this discussion, I became a little bit sad. Probably I lost, you know, the, 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 the temper, so I was silent. And probably it was visible in the, in the audience. One of the workers said, he, he said, Mr. Bistega, don't worry. We are criticizing you. We are criticizing you and we are criticizing our wives. Because they are our wives and you have the right to criticize. The same our approaches to our party. So I would like to tell you now we have the situation that is completely reversed what it was a few years ago. Workers criticize the party from the side. Now they are criticizing many problems, including the party, taking under consideration they are in. What they are saying is respected by the policy of the party. But and we've also seen many workers in the churches. We've been in Nova Huta exactly. and we've seen the workers in. Uh, I would at like to mass. tell you. I would like to tell you that it not means that the workers are against the policy of the party, or the workers that are against the party, I would like to tell you that now we have 8.3 million of workers. Six millions of these workers they are the first generation workers. So that means they came from the village in the first generation and they came to the town. I would like to tell you that they passed to the town all behavior that there is in the village. You notice that in Nova Huta, people that are going to... Yes, of course, I would like to tell you that among these people probably there are the members of the party too. So one can be a good communist and a good Catholic. Exactly, could be, especially if he's worker. So does and it mean you have a historical compromise between the party and the church? There is not the question of the historical compromise because we are respecting what the reality in Poland is. Probably their children, we have quite different view what the father they have. Probably grandchildren, they have quite different, you know, this conscience that they have grandfather they have. So we are looking for the evolution, for the process that we go that we that, that should to go in Poland. And it's going on in Poland. So 
what is the most important the policy of the party that we we are Marxist and as you know probably in the United Kingdom you have much better to uh, to or the mission to the original what uh, what Marx said he said that Marx is there is a method nothing more Marx is there is a method of critical analysis of the real facts so we are analyzing of the real facts and toward the real facts we are directing our policy so I'm not I, I'm sorry to say I don't see the, the, the controversy what you ask me if there is a member of the party and he is going to the church and that he is building socialism there is no diversity uh, in it but there is a contradiction between the values of Marxism and the values of Christianity of the Catholic Church uh, as concerns the workers he's not thinking in this category what you what you mentioned uh, to me he's thinking in the category of good man or bad man for him to be mark to be member of the party there is to be good worker to be good citizen to be good man toward uh, his surrounding and when he is going to the church I cannot see I wouldn't like to judge what he is thinking I would like to tell you that the majority of the people that are going to the church just as the element of his culture as his belonging to the Polish culture and I would like to tell you that we are respecting this fact this situation probably once again I'm saying probably it will be changed after generation it is not possible I would like to tell you in any but that was structure. the initial hope in the 1950s when Nova Huta was built they thought there was a new new worker will be uh, uh, will, will come into being he will he will drop the Catholic Church I would like uh, uh, 30 years I, after they had solidarity which I would started I, with I, a strike I, and a mass maybe that there were such a people that they, th that they thought that uh, it is possible to just to screw one head and to screw the second one and everything will be will, will be okay but I would like to tell you that never we thought in the category that building the socialism there is just the acts so it means to build the Navahuta and immediately people will be changed there we never thought in the category maybe that there were people that they thought in this category they were primitive history showed that they are primitive that the maybe that there is the cost of our learning maybe because as you could notice in Poland what is the most characteristic now that you are not thinking in the category of facts changed immediately just uh, uh, acts that are uh, uh, tomorrow they are giving the facts we are thinking in the category of processes sometimes very painful sometimes requirement some time times and that the problem that uh, you could notice in our party now is uh, as the rule of activity of communism in Poland.